Hey, what's going on everyone? This is Jerry Reviews back with another video and today we're talking about automations. Probably one of the most underrated features of iOS. If you actually know how to use automations and know how to create the right automations for your device, you can do a lot without having to do anything. The automations, of course, will do the work for you and they're actually very, very useful. So in today's video, I will show you guys 10 really awesome automations that you can actually use on a daily basis on your device. Now let's get started with the first one. Of course, to create a new automation, you will need to go to the shortcuts app and then you go under the automation section. Now the first one has to do with your alarms. So what you can do here is go to new automation and then go to alarm. Now when you go here, tap on goes off and then tap on run immediately. Tap next and now you can choose to play any music you want or speak any text you want when the alarm goes off on your device. Of course, you have other ways to do the music one, but with this one, you can actually go to speak text and basically your device will speak any text you want when your alarm goes off. You can also, again, tap on play music. And you can go ahead and choose any type of music you want, any playlist from your music library and play it when your alarm goes off. Next up will be the wallpaper. Did you know that with automations, you can change the wallpaper of your device based on the location you're at? So on iOS 26, you know that when you change the wallpaper, basically the lock screen, you change also different like home screen setups that you might have connected to that wallpaper. So if you go to new automation right here and then go ahead and go to location. So let's just find location here. So right here, go with arrive and choose a location. Once you have done that, you can just go ahead and switch here to any time. And then of course, switch to run immediately. Always make sure that you choose run immediately. Tap next and then right here, tap this button and search for wallpaper. So once you're here, go switch between wallpapers and then tap right here, switch to wallpaper, and then it will show you a list of all the wallpapers that you have saved on your device. From here, you can just go ahead and pick any of the wallpapers that you have, and then go ahead and set a, that wallpaper with that setup once you're at that location. Next up, we're talking about battery. Did you know that you can have your iPhone speak when your battery is fully charged or is charged at any percentage that you want? So you plug in your device to charge. You don't want to bother with it, just looking at it, whether it's charged or not. You can just go ahead and go to automations here and then go to battery level and then choose here equal. So you can choose right here the percentage. So if I want my iPhone to basically notify me when my device is charged at 80%, I just choose 80% right there, tap on run, tap on run immediately, and then tap next right here, and then a speak text, and you add the text right here. You can just type anything you want. It will speak it for you, like battery charge or battery charge at 80% or whatever you want. You just enter it, of course, in text right here, and you're good to go. Now, another thing you can do with this is that you can actually have your iPhone vibrate instead of speaking text when your device is charged at a certain level. Now to do that, you basically follow the same steps here. Go to battery, go to battery level right there, choose the equals one, run immediately, then tap next. And all you have to do here is just search for vibrate. So right here under create new shortcut, just search for vibrate and then you will have vibrate device. You choose this one, tap that button and you're good to go. Now it has created this new automation that will vibrate your device anytime it's charged at any level that you actually pick. Next up, we're talking about Bluetooth and different apps. So let's say you have a Bluetooth device, whether it's a speaker or maybe a car or anything like that, and you have a certain app that you use to play music on that Bluetooth device. Well, you can have that app launch automatically once you have connected to that Bluetooth device. To do that, you tap the plus button right here, search for Bluetooth, right here is connected, run immediately, tap right here to choose from the devices that you have saved under your Bluetooth. So right here will be all the devices that you have, you go ahead and choose one of them that you want, 
tap on next button and then go ahead and tap right here on open app. If you don't see this, tap on create new shortcut and search for open app. And then simply just search the app that you want to open, add it right here, and you're good to go. Now, whenever you connect to that device, it will open that app. Now, you can do the same, but not for Bluetooth, but CarPlay. If you have a car with CarPlay, you can tap right here, and then you will find CarPlay here on the list so that we have it. So when it's connected, you run immediately, tap next, open app and as simple as that you can just go ahead and pick any app you want and then once you basically the device is connected to your carplay it will run that app automatically now here's one automation that i really like and i think is very useful so you know when your iphone is on low power mode it will consume way less battery so when you're charging if your iphone is in low power mode it will charge it faster as of course the device is consuming less and uh, basically allowing the battery to charge much, much faster. Well, we can do that with an automation. So tap right here, go to charge. So here we have the charger. When the charger is connected, you run immediately, tap the next button, and then search here for low power mode by tapping on the create new shortcut. So that we have set low power mode, tap right there. It's on right here. If you wanna switch it, you can switch it right there tap that button and you're good to go. Whenever you plug in your device to charge, it will automatically run low power mode, meaning that your device will be able to charge much, much faster. And for the last three one, we, and for the last three automations, we have some really useful, very simple, yet very useful automations that you can use within apps. First of all, you can go here and just search for app that we have app. It's opened, run immediately and choose the app that you want to do this. So let's just choose app store here, just as an example. Now, what I can do here, first of all, is I can set the volume of my device at any percentage I want whenever I open this app and that happens automatically. So I'll just search here for set volume. So there we have set volume when I go here. We can see we have media, you can choose media or ringtone, but choose media. And then right here, we can set the percentage. And this way I will have the volume set at this certain percentage anytime I open this app. And of course, everything is done automatically. Now, one really cool thing is that you can also change the orientation lock on your device automatically on per app basis. Now, I like to keep the orientation lock off all the time, but if I needed to have it on just on a certain app, then I can do that with an automation. Or for someone that does keep the orientation lock on all the time, they wanna switch it off just, let's say, on the YouTube app, you can do that pretty easy. You go here, tap on app, and then search here for the app you want. And once you have done that, go ahead, tap next and search for orientation lock. Then we have set orientation lock and we have the toggle here, tap on turn, switch it off. And that way, every time you will open YouTube, it automatically turns off orientation lock on your device. And last but not least, we're talking about the dark mode here. We can do the same here with dark mode. We can choose to have basically dark mode turned on all the time on any app we want. So choose the app right here. So let's choose this one, tap on next and search for set appearance here by tapping on create new shortcut. And there we have it turned to dark or to light mode. You can switch it between different ones based on which one you use actually on your device. So in this way, whenever you open this app, you will have the dark mode turned on automatically every time, even though your device might be on the light mode. And of course it happens just on that app. So that's basically it for this video, guys. Uh, these are 10 really useful automations that you can create on the Shortcuts app today. And you will probably use them a lot on daily basis with your device. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video and you find it helpful. If you did, smash that like button and subscribe for more. And I'll see you on the next one.